Good morning guys this is Armakesh here today I am explaining you fundamental algebra okay guys you know what is fundamental algebra fundamental algebra mean the basic algebra what is algebra guys algebra is the branch of mathematics which deal with unknown when something you don't know like you don't know the cost of marker the number of boys wearing glasses in your class the mass of book the number of pages of book the height of triangle the volume of the cuboid the height of the cuboid so guys when we deal with unknown so we are using uh, the branch of mathematics called algebra so right now we are doing fundamental algebra you did algebra in grade 6 also grade 7 also grade 5 also so we are doing a brief revision of fundamental algebra but before fundamental algebra i want to explain you i want to give you a quick review of integers guys all of you know what is integers integers how can we define integers all the positive and negative number always remember guys all the positive and negative numbers all the positive and negative number along with the balancing or neutral digit zero so guys uh, your teacher already told you in grades 5 6 and 7 that every number have sign before it always there is a sign prefix before a number every number have a sign before it it will be positive or negative so guys what are integers all the positive and negative numbers with the balancing or neutral digit zero why we call it balancing or neutral digit because all the number have sign before it positive or negative but there is one digit which don't have any sign before it so we call it balancing digit or neutral digit why we call it neutral digit why we call it, call it balancing digit i will explain you on the number line look here guys this is a number line have you seen a number line so zero has no sign always remember there is no sign before zero it will be not negative it will be not positive so zero is called a balancing digit or a neutral digit because it has no sign before it so zero is always considered always called a balancing digit or a neutral digit because it balances both the side it balances the positive side also and negative side so the number more than zero the number towards right of the zero the number more than zero greater than zero towards right of the zero are positive integer look here guys if you look on the number line guys hold on okay guys if you look here very carefully so look here these are integers look here guys integers all the positive and negative number remember guys every number have a sign before it it will be positive or negative if there is no sign before a number it always consider positive so what are integers all the positive and negative number with the balancing digit zero this is a com short and complete definition of integers so if anyone asks you what are integers so you can answer them all the positive number and negative number along with the balancing digit zero why we call it zero balancing digit because it this is the only digit we do not have any sign before it so before zero there is no positive no negative it is called a neutral or balancing digit but all the number more than zero wo sare number jo zero se bade hote all the number greater than zero are called positive integers so look here guys zero one two three four five okay so six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and so on so guys these are called positive okay guys so always remember zero is a balancing digit it balance both the side it balance the negative and it balance the positive and negative side so towards right are positive integer what are positive integer all the number greater than zero all the number more than zero are called positive integers and guys before zero towards left of the zero so guys always remember all the number less than zero smaller than zero towards left of zero are negative integer so always remember guys all the number less than zero are called negative integers mean they have sign be minus sign negative sign before it okay guys so these are called integers why explaining you integer why I give you a brief explanation brief review of integers because this positive and negative give you more idea about a uh, separators of integers when we are doing fundamental algebra there are different thing in fundamental algebra especially for operation fundamental operation so guys fundamental operation are plus minus multiply and divide you all of you knew the concept of fundamental operation but guys you don't know the purpose of fundamental operation in algebra in algebra there are the fundamental operation plus minus multiply and divide so guys plus and minus are called separator this negative and positive sign are called separator because 
in integer you learn every number of sign before it positive or negative so guys this positive and negative sign separate the terms they making terms they separate the terms okay now listen guys i give you a few example of terms okay sorry guys i will give you the example of terms in fundamental algebra so these are guys integer